All right, good evening everybody. It's your boy Akeem and welcome to today's vlog. Here to give you a preview of week four of the 2015 college football season. Have some great games for you ahead of the this week. Start with tonight's matchup in the American Conference between Cincinnati at Memphis. Now the Tigers of Memphis has been doing great this past season, this upcoming season. Starting off 3-0. They're looking spectacular, especially offensively. Now for Cincinnati, they did suffer one defeat against Against Temple and they're looking to become the American champs just like Memphis. Now I think that Memphis got this game because they have the home field advantage and the defense for Cincinnati is a little bit in question for me in my opinion so I have to go with Memphis over Cincy. Next up number 22 BYU is going to be going to Ann Arbor to face the Michigan Wolverines. Now Michigan did start off the season with a defeat but they rebounded over the course of the last two games at home and this is the third consecutive game at Ann Arbor so this is going to be an interesting matchup. The Wolverines are actually coming in with a lot of confidence, get, building up their confidence overall as a team. Now for BYU, the Cougars are for real. They're a tough com uh, opponent, but I'm going to have to go with Michigan in this one as one of my upset games of the week. I think that Coach Jim Harbaugh is starting to get to the team just to build a little bit more confidence. Defensively, they've been doing pretty well, only allowing 14 points over the course of the last two games. Next up, number 20, Georgia Tech is going to be playing at Duke for their first ACC showdown. Now I'm going to have to go with the Yellow Jackets in this one to rebound last week's loss against Notre Dame. Next up, between um, West Virginia hosting Maryland. Now for West Virginia, they really have to be concerned with William Likely. He's a star um, special teams player and defenseman for the Terrapins. And I think that they have a good defender on the defensive side for um, Virginia Tech and Mountaineer safety, Carl Joseph. He is a prospect for the 2016 NFL Draft. I'm going to have to go with the Mountaineers over the Terps. Next up, another upset game I have to go with as my Texas Longhorns have headed for their first Big 12 showdown against number 24, Oklahoma State. Now, Texas actually surprised me last week with their performance against Cal. They did put up 44 points in total with just a narrow one-point um, loss last week, and I think they're, gonna, they're starting to get things together, and I definitely head coach um, Charlie Strong is on the hot seat. They lose this game or have a terrible season overall. I think he's on the verge of getting fired, so he he has a lot of pressure towards him, and I think they're probably going to try to start off with a Big 12 victory in conference play. Next up, Virginia Tech at East Carolina. Now, the reason why I'm calling off this matchup is because the, the, the duel between these two teams, have, they actually have produced a couple of, a lot of great games in recent years. But I have to go with Virginia Tech in this one because of their defense. And I do like the combination of Brendan Motley, the quarterback, and uh, and his top receiver in Isaiah Ford. That is a good good uh, combination as a quarterback and receiver duo. Next up, Tennessee is going to be traveling to Florida to face the Gators in a good SEC East matchup. Now, the Gators are still undefeated, but they had a narrow win last week against Kentucky. Now for Tennessee, they do have a great offense and they did have their own their loan loss so far in the season against OU. They've been doing pretty good and they're actually surprising me. Headed towards this season, I believe I had them going 7-5 um, overall at best, but I think this team could possibly go 8-4 and four because their offense is up to par, but their defense, I think they can still they still have a good solid defense and for four is actually make, um, making a lot of mistakes, mental mistakes, and still trying to make a better identity offensive I'm going to have to go with the Volunteers over the Gators in this one, even though the game is at the Swamp. Next up, Western Michigan is going to be traveling to Columbia uh, to Columbus to place number one, Ohio State. Now, the Buckeyes last week had a um, close um, win last week. They escaped with a uh, seven-point victory over Northern Illinois. And Western Michigan is a team that you should not sleep on, particularly on the offensive side. But I think the Buckeyes is going to get things together. But there still is question at quarterback and who's going to be the true starting quarterback between Cardell Jones and JT Barrett. And I will go with the Buckeyes over the Broncos in that game. Next up, number three, TCU is going to Texas Tech to face the Red Raiders. And head coach Cliff Kingsbury has definitely have this team prompt up. They're very psyched about this matchup, and they can pull the upset. But I go, will go with TCU in this one. I think that Gary Patterson is a brilliant coach, and he's been doing a great job as head coach for the um, Horned Frogs. Next up, Cal is going to be traveling to Washington to face the Huskies. Now, the Cal Bears are starting off the season off 3-0, and, oh, and Washington is a team that 
definitely could pull off some upsets. I'm gonna have to go with Cal in this one, and I firmly believe that at the end of this week, I think I do think they will become one of the top 25 teams in the country and become a ranked team. Next up, Texas A&M is gonna be traveling to Arkansas to face the Razorbacks. Now, Kyle, um, Kyle Allen, the star quarterback for Texas A&M, has been doing a great job. I think this team on um, Coach on um, Coach Sumlin and, and company with the Aggies been doing a great job so far this season, and this team can be wreck havoc in the SEC West division. It's going to be an interesting year in the SEC conference like every other year. Now for um uh, for Arkansas, they have actually come off the back-to-back -back losses against Toledo and last week to Texas Tech, and they're actually having a good matchup at home. They do have the home field advantage, and they're looking to pull off the upset, but I think that because of Aggie quarterback um, Kyle Allen is actually getting this team and myself to believe in this team and starting to give, build up a little bit of hype, I do understand why they're the 14th ranked team in the country. I'm going to have to go with the Aggies over the Razorbacks. Next up, Mississippi State's going to be traveling to Auburn to face the Auburn Tigers. Now, Auburn has been struggling so far this season a couple of close wins over Louisville and Jacksonville State and then they got blown away by running back Leonard Fournette and the Louisiana on State on Tigers this is going to be another tough battle because Mississippi State is a good team who actually has a great quarterback and Dak Prescott and due to the fact that Jeremy Johnson has not been playing up to par this season I'm going to have to go with Prescott and the Bulldogs in this matchup next up number 25 Missouri is going to be traveling to Kentucky to face the Kentucky Wildcats this is going to be a good match for everybody to see because Kentucky did pull off a good win against South Carolina. Even though they lost last week to Florida, this team is actually starting to build things up overall. And I think that they can pull the upset because of what we saw last week against UConn. Now, UConn um, actually... Um, barely lost last week to Missouri 9-6. to Mizzou only posted up 9 points in that matchup. And I think that Kentucky can pull off the upset. I will go with the Wildcats over the Tigers in this matchup. Next up, um, number 18, Utah is going to be traveling to Eugene, Oregon to face the number 13, Ducks. This is going to be a good match for you guys to watch. Utah is starting off the season undefeated. They're a good, solid team, but I think they're because they're doing, they're playing in a hectic environment, a hostile environment, and Eugene, Oregon, I think the Oregon Ducks offense will explode on, on the use this upcoming week. And next up, number 19, USC is going to be playing against Arizona State at Tempe. This is going to be a good game to get guys to watch a good rematch game because ASU did win last week against the Trojans in that matchup. It was a great thriller in that game. And USC, they, 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 are, they are coming off of a loss to Stanford. And they're looking to rebound this week. I think that Brock, Mike Barkabici is a good quarterback for ASU. They could pull another upset, but I'm going to have to go, go with the Trojans in this one. Cody Kessler is an excellent quarterback. Lastly, the game of the week, number 9, UCLA is going to be traveling to face number 16, Arizona. Tough break for the Bruins in this one because they're going to have to play without their star linebacker and Miles Jack, who is out for the season with a knee injury. This is a tough loss. Now, last week, um, um, the freshman quarterback, Rosen, actually struggled against the Cougars at home. And he's looking to try to bounce things back and have a good game against Arizona, who has a great offensive um, weapons, especially even at quarterback when a new Solomon leading the way offensively. I think that this is a good Arizona team, and I have to pick at my top upset game of the week. They have the home field advantage. Talking about the Wildcats, they have a good running back in Nick Wilson. They have a great offense. Defensively, Scooby Wright has been hurt this season, so but they're still doing good enough defensively. And due to the fact that I think they need to just isolate Paul Perkins, the running back for the Bruins, and they just isolate him, they put more pressure on Rosen, the quarterback for the Bruins. And I think this is going to be a tough matchup for UCLA. And even in, in the fact that they're coming into the game without a Miles Jack, that is a tough loss defensively as well. So I'm going to have to go with Arizona over UCLA as my top upset game of the week. Now the next time to catch you guys will be Tuesday morning where I will give you a recap of week four. Thank you for watching today's blog. I'm your man Keenan McCall. Be easy.